Okay, Jane, it's good to meet you. You too. First, let's go through the fun part. Uh, where were you when you learned you had won? Um, when I won, I was at home with my mum. I've never played the lottery before, and neither has my mum, so she was like, I don't really know if that's real. This was the first time you had played? The first time. Ever. And I'm screaming, like, I think I've won a million pounds. And my mum was like, calm down, Jane, you're, you're, do you know what I mean? Like, I was a bit, I was probably like, overreacting, but I had to go to the shop. They even said, like, it looks like you've won, but we wouldn't want to be so sure. You need to call Camelot. So I've stuck the ticket like down my top and ran home like Charlie in the chocolate factory with this ticket. We ran all the way home. And I was like to my mum, like, I need to use the landline to like phone the lottery. And she was like, you're not using the landline. Like it's going to cost a fortune. And I was like, calm down. Like I've got this. <laughs> yeah. I've got this, honestly. Yeah, I think I can afford it. Uh, mm. all right, and so you get confirmed that you've won it. And do they publish who, who's the winner? So it's choice. It is, you can be anonymous, but um, you're encouraged to go public. They, yeah. they, they prefer that, especially when the case is a bit different. So because I was 17, they were like, oh, we've, it's kind of unheard of. Like, you should tell people. Yeah. All right. So you were working at a call center and you were making eight pounds an hour, which is about 10 bucks here. Did you go to work the next day? Um, I stayed off for a week because I had to meet Camelot and like the press and do a press conference, um, but I did go back to work. My contract was like a six month and then they offered me another six month and I was like halfway in it. And I thought because they were nice enough to offer me the contract, like the least I could do is like finish the contract. Yeah, but you did go to work for another three months. I did go months. back to work, yeah. Well, good for you. Thank you. So did you do your job and all? Yeah, I mean, I was kind of like switching between the job and like school and through online shopping, but, <laughs> uh, but like I did do the job, yeah. Yeah. So. You said that wealth and fame coming overnight really ruined the foundation of your life. Yeah, like, so when I won, like, it was a very quick turnover from, like, when into having this money. It's kind of massive. It was, looking back, like, it was crazy at the time, but, like, it's even crazier, like, looking back. Yeah. And so did you start doing foolish expenditures? Um, I splashed out a bit, like, because I never knew the value of a million pounds. I'd never seen that kind of money. I never knew anyone with that kind of money. So I kind of splashed a bit, stuff that I've always wanted. Like I thought I'd get a bit of a feel. And then one of my aunts stepped in and was like, you should like invest some now. You should buy property or you should stop going on holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you bought cars and that sort of thing. And you say there are horrors that you face that you wouldn't expect to come with winning the money. What was the worst thing that you had to deal with? Um, I think the invasion of privacy, like people feel like they just, because the media are constantly writing about me, they, everyone else just thinks they have an, they're entitled to an opinion. Um, so like I had a stalker, there was people hiding in like the bushes outside my house. They were threatening to like throw acid in my face and I was literally scared to walk out my front door like, and I didn't, don't think that like anyone should ever feel like that. Yeah, oh, of course. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.